Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beast All Generation episode number 123. I'm Adam and today we got another battle ready for uh, round 3. Ready for round 3 for one of these beasts to make it through to round 4. So without any further ado, let's introduce these beasts. Uh, representing series 26, the four masters, we have book number 1, Technos the Ocean Crawler. And... Representing the group of specials, uh, special number six, I believe, Mortax the Skeleton Warrior. So both of these beasts are formidable opponents and very strong indeed. However, uh, with one of these being a relatively new series and my book not being completely up to date with the Bible and of the beasts, I'm afraid that when it comes to the stats, I don't have a bio for Technos. But what we're going to do first, we're just going to, uh, just, uh, no, we're not going to do anything. What, what am I? I? I am very tired today, clearly. But with that, let's get to the stats. So we're going to start things off with Technosis powers and abilities, being enhanced strength, natural weaponry, natural armor, underwater breathing, and speed swimming. Weaknesses are struggle to stand. And in his evil form, which is what we're using, is reversion. Now we're gonna, yeah, there we are. Now we're gonna go to Mortax now, with uh, his uh, bio here. Mortax Mortax resides in a gallery of tombs. In life, he was three times the height of a normal man, and the casket he lies in is one of the largest there. Although Mortax was once a brave warrior, he was turned to evil and held the power to control all the good beasts of Avantia. Special, special fact, the Gallery of Tombs is found down a long staircase to lit with crystals. Age, 358. Power, 280. Magic level, 180. Fright factor, 90. Size, 145. Powers and abilities, poss possible beast control, mind control, enhanced strength, enhanced durability, and weapon mastery. Equipment, a giant scythe and armor. <clears throat> Weaknesses are exposed heart and heart removal. That's it. So, with that, the battle is actually going to take place in the city of Avantia. Because I think this is going to be a very good kingdom destroying battle here. And with that, let's get into this. So, as we go into this, we are greeted by the city of Avantia. It's just... Nestle, with all the people there just going around minding their own business in the marketplace and everywhere when suddenly the ground starts to shake almost like a storm's coming but it's not storm it is in fact technos he bursts through the walls of this city and yells mortax come and face him come and face me and not, the ground starts to shake again, but Technos isn't moving. Mortax bursts through the ground and says, I am here. I am here to take you down. <clears throat> the two beasts stare each other down, Mort Technos having the size advantage, but they charge towards each other anyway. Technos lifts up one of his uh, fins and goes to slice down at Mortax. Mortax deflects it with his scythe and slices at that fin, sticking the scythe right into the Technos' fin. Technos roars in pain, takes the fin back and slaps, uh, and just starts knocking down houses, uh, rubble, causing rubble to go everywhere. Mortax, not wanting to be outdone, starts doing the same, pushing everything aside and charges towards Technos, jumping and Pushing Technos down by on his chest. Doesn't knock Technos back, but Mortax is now climbing up Technos' shell. Technos is slapping at his shell to knock Mortax off. And whilst the hits are knocking Mortax, they're not de wavering his determination to get up. He grabs, he gets to the top of the shell, lifts up his head and scythe and brings it down on Technos' uh, neck. Technos roars in pain and falls uh, down onto the ground forwards. 
uh, crushing Mortax underneath his weight. Uh, he gets back up and Mortax gets up, a bit dazed and confused, but still fine. He sees blood dripping from Technos' neck and realises, aha, I drew the first blood. Technos, enraged by this, goes to slash at Mortax with his uh, fin. Uh, Mortax ditches the scythe, grabs the fin and pulls Technos down, pulling Technos down completely. He quickly grabs his scythe and brings it down right onto Technos' head. Technos roars in pain, stands back up with the scythe still sticking out of his head. And with blood dripping down his face with a crazed look in his eye, he roars at Mortax. Mortax just taunts uh, Technos saying, come on then, what are you going to do, kill me? Technos then stands up and goes to fall down uh, forwards onto Mortax. Right as Technos is falling, Mortax rolls backwards, and as Technos lands on the floor, he Mortax grabs his scythe and brings it down onto Technos's other side of the neck, uh, and then lifts it back up and brings it right down onto his fin, pinning his fin to the ground. Technos able to get up and take the ground with him, along with the scythe sticking through his fin. <coughs> Techno sees that, bites onto the scythe, rips it out of his fin, and throws it away. Techno then smirks and says, You're no good about your scythe, aren't you? Mortax laughs and says, I don't need a scythe to kill you. I'll kill you in my bare hands. He char Mortax charges up to Technos and tackles him down, uh, pushing him backwards knocking down walls and buildings in the process. Technos is able to slash at Mortax, knocking him off. Mortax lands on his feet, uh, bringing up the rubble with him, and charges up towards Technos again. Mortax keeps jumping at Technos, knocking him backwards, refusing to be outdone by this behemoth of a beast. Technos is just trying to slash at Mortax, knocking him backwards, knocking him to the side. He keeps knocking Mortax, but Mortax keeps coming back. Mortax is able, uh, right when Technos falls on top of Mortax again, Mortax is able to roll out of the way, grab a piece of rubble, and slams it right down onto Technos' head. Technos roars in pain after being bludgeoned by some rubble. And gets back up and says, I thought you said you'd kill me with your bare hands. You cheated. Mortax responds back saying, we're in a tournament. Anything goes, we fight to the death. I may have hit you with rubble, but I'm still going to kill you with these hands. Uh, Technos says, okay then, do your worst. Mortax says, that's what I plan to do. He charges up towards Technos. Technos goes to slash at him. Mortax stops, dodges the slam, uh, slash, grabs onto his fin, pulls him down sideways, and Mortax then pushes with all his might right onto Technos, forcing him onto the back of his shell. Technos can't seem to get up now. He can't roll over. He's trapped. Mortax gets on top of Technos' uh, belly of the shell, walks up to his neck, wraps his arms around Technos' neck, and says, yeah, th these are my bare hands about to kill you, isn't it? Technos uh, refuses to give Mortax satisfaction and says, coward's way out, you're killing me whilst I'm on my back when I can't do anything. Mortax says, don't act like you wouldn't do the same, you would have taken my heart out and killed me before I died anyway, wouldn't you? So Mortax uh, calls out Technos on his bluff, taking the coward's way out, but Mortax is still the one moving on, and you're not going to see the light of day again. He snaps Technos' neck, and Technos' body full goes limp. Mortax roars in victory and makes his way back to the combat arena, grabbing his scythe on the way out, which landed on the outer wall of the city. The city in absolute disarray... <laughs> Uh, the spectators, well, the civilians come out of the shelters, 
to see the carnage made by these goliaths of beefs and uh realizing they've got a lot of building building rebuilding to do but first they gotta take care of the corpse of technos so with that more taxes won technos has lost if you think technos should won please don't control i think that however my words final and more tax moving on to the next round so with this um battle i think it was obvious more tax was going to win but i think showing the durability that Mortax has where he's able to get knocked to the side and he still comes back fighting is something which can show which shows that Mortax is a threat in this tournament. <clears throat> Technos is obviously a Goliath, probably a Kaiju, but ultimately though, I think no matter the size, Mortax is a, a very strong contender for the phrase the bigger they are, the harder they fall. He made Technos fall, and he took advantage of his weakness. Technos may have said that's the coward's way out, but Mortax is able to call him out and say that he would have done the same thing. Technos, unable to deny that, continues to persist that Mortax is taking the coward's way out. But Mortax still won. He stood by his word saying he was going to kill Technos with his bare hands, and that's what he did. But with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.